Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about baking textures and cycles uh, which is something that is really new and I just found out about this new experimental branch that allows you to do that uh, a few um, minutes ago here on Blender Nations. So I'll link you in the description to this post where you can find the links to the download of the of the branch itself and the documentation and now I'll go ahead and explain you a little bit um, about what it does and, and why it is so cool. So basically what, what you can do is use the Cycles engine to bake textures. Um, that way you'll be able to use those models the same way they look in Cycles for things like game engines and stuff like that. As you can see here, it runs in real time, I can look around it and it looks all awesome and the same way it does in Cycles. Um, now, this is how you do it. Let's add something uh, here in this scene uh, to show you how it works. I'll now add an, another object. Of course, I'll go back to the Cycles engine. Let's get rid of this for now. Um, And what I will do is I will give this object here an emission material. Um, so let's say something like 20 and let's make it red. Uh, of yeah, there were a few changes in the scene, so let me quickly recover that. I'll just add in an environment texture as well. Uh, so that we have some, something similar to before. And there we go. Now see how long this takes to bake in cycles now let's say you want the same effects in in your game the same look the same shading in real time now this is what you can do um, you select an object and then here from the documentation side uh, this guy tells you how to do it so there is this code you just copy it, put it into a, into a new text file here in the text editor. And all you need to change is the file path here, which I've already done. And the resolution here, which is also alright. And of course you need to make sure that the UV mapping is done. And then all you do is uh, click Alt P to run the script. And there's not really a way to see that it's currently uh, yeah, calculating it. The only way to actually not to sit is, I think, I guess the sound of the computer fan running up. So, yeah. And here is now the texture. Um, this is where I saved it to. And now the thing is, it's still very noisy. So we can simply um, change the amount of samples here to something like 100 and do the same thing again. And you'll hear that my fan is going to spin a lot faster again and that's how you <laughs> it's a pretty good way to say when Cycles is doing some stuff yeah now it's already done that's great um, let's do the same thing with the floor object as well so just select it uh, I'll change the path so that I do not override it and this time I'll use double the resolution so Blender is done now with its work and the easiest way to preview it is to go back to the Blender render engine select an object um, go here to image open and select the texture do the same thing with the floor and then switch to textured uh, here textured mode and there you go you can make it on to display only rendered stuff, but you can see it's the very same as in as in the cycles render engine. Now there is one single problem that I found that is still there, but I'm pretty sure they will fix it in the uh, official versions of of this. Um, yeah, and that is that there is no they call it I think bleeding of the bake so. You see, when you have the UVs, it just calculates everything that's within it. And that means there are these 
borders. To get rid of those, you have to go in and scale every single part down a little bit or go into an um, image editing software and I think there are ways to, to do that uh, in there as well. So you see now I fixed it and it looks alright um, as long as you do not zoom out too much at least. Well, it's all about the UEs and this kind of stuff. So now, by the way, since I haven't mentioned it, um, all of the stuff I said right now will probably be outdated very soon, so uh, I probably should have said that at the beginning of this video. Um, well, anyways, this is just the news from right now, and I thought I would share it and spread the word a bit about it, since it's a really cool feature. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the official versions. I guess later on, once that's implemented in the official build, uh, all you will have to do is go to Cycles Render and then down there there will be somewhere a baking tab similar to how it is here and that should do the same thing. I guess, I don't know about it. So, so yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, but that's all there is. So you now have uh, there those two textures and you can easily display those at real time and it's a really cool thing and it works really fast. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video about some Blender news and yeah, hope to see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.